Hi, welcome to Bass Habits episode number 64. Today we're going to talk about Tina Weymouth, bass player of Talking Heads. Talking Heads are one of the most critically acclaimed bands of the 80s and they are credited to have pioneered new wave music by integrating elements of punk, art rock, funk and world music with an anxious clean cut image. Though fronted by lead singer and guitar player David Byrne, I think it's pretty safe to say that the core of the sound of Talking Heads was mainly a product of his top-notch rhythm section. At the center of it stood iconic bass player Tina Weymouth, which is the focus of this video. Contrary to most bass players, Tina never really stuck to a particular bass or amp and used a variety of different instruments over the years. So I think we can all agree on the fact that the secret of Talking Heads' memorable grooves is in Tina's fingers. Let's take a look at their style, focusing on their 15-year tenure with Talking Heads. First of all, play short notes. Tina was only playing bass for 5 months when she joined Talking Heads, so her parts are made by pretty simple elements. The first thing that jumps to eye when listening to Talking Heads bass lines is that they are made up of short and often punctuated notes, for the majority of the time. While some bass players make a living playing in a subtle and mellow manner, Weymouth does just the opposite. The bass in Talking Heads is very dense and mixed up front, and Tina manages to support the rhythm section with articulation, space, and acute attention to note duration. The tone really cuts through and combined with these distinctive and syncopated notes brings boldness to the overall sound of Talking Heads. On top, most songs revolve around single chords held out by the guitars and a simple drum beat, so it's all up to the bass to provide the musical variation. Number 2. Pluck the E string with your thumb Though Tina is an occasional pick user, for the majority she plays with her fingers. A very unusual thing though is the way she uses her thumb to pluck the E string, while all the other strings are played with her index and middle finger. This is particularly evident on the bass line of Psycho Killer. Not only she uses the thumb to pluck the low E, but she also uses the open A string for the first note. To me it doesn't feel natural at all, as I'd personally do everything on the E and use my index and middle finger, but again, this is how she does it, so this is how it should be done. And speaking of open strings, that's another peculiarity of Tina's style, and again it's very clear on the second part of the main riff of Psycho Killer. Again to me it feels weird to use open strings as I have much better control when using actual frets, but once again for Tina Weymouth this is perfectly fine and it's the only way to make this bass line sound the way it's supposed to. I guess it has something to do with the fact that she has small hands and using open strings when possible probably got her around some uncomfortable jumps, that's also why she mainly uses short scale basses. By the way, did you know where she got the inspiration for that pulsing quarter notes psycho killer bass line? <laughs> Number 4. Add a single pop in the higher registers. Many of Tina's most iconic bass lines implement a single pop in the higher register to contrast the lower plucked notes. This is particularly evident in the strongly Motown influenced bass line of Found a Job where the single high octave really makes the song bounce.
Number five, repetition. At times, Tina's grooves remain unchanged throughout the whole song. Once in a lifetime is the best example, building pretty much the whole song on just two bars of music. Number six, the Weymouth box. Tina's favorite box is made using the root one octave higher plus the fifth and the sixth. Once again, we'll have to look at Psycho Killer. Tina Weymouth embraces the nature of dance music, disco, reggae and early hip-hop by creating simple yet undeniably catchy grooves. On the second part of the Talking Heads career, she would occasionally use a Moog instead of an actual bass guitar, but her approach to the parts was pretty much the same. Talking Heads were instrumental in creating new wave and hip-hop music, and despite their simplicity, Tina's upfront and catchy bass lines paired with her deeply held belief in music's potential created a unique type of thumpy funk that many bassists are still copying to this day. That's all I had to say about Tina Weymouth and Talking Heads. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave us a comment and follow me on Instagram for more.